There may be no place in America with stranger aviation stories than this. Crunch. Rip. Smash. Welcome to Roswell, New Mexico, where aircraft come to die. Anyone frustrated by the current state of air travel might want to try their hand at this. Tearing apart an entire airplane. This hydraulic excavator has been outfitted with a special giant claw that can demolish a once mighty MD-80 jet in minutes. This might just be one of the most satisfying jobs in aviation, but it takes a lot of skill. You try plucking out the plane's bathroom as neatly as this. When this aircraft is completely demolished, workers will salvage spare parts for resale. Next up, this 747. But aircraft demolition isn't the only strange sight here at the Roswell Airport. Across the tarmac is a red Lockheed Jetstar that once belonged to the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley himself. It was first sold by Elvis's dad, and then sold again to a man from Poland, but still gathers dust here in Roswell. And then, there's the strangest flying object of them all. So strange, no one has actually ever seen it. Almost 60 years ago, an unidentified flying object reportedly landed in the desert outside Roswell. Before anyone knew what it was, the U.S. government locked it away in this hangar at the Roswell Airport. Rumors that it was an alien spaceship spread like wildfire, sealing Roswell's extraterrestrial reputation. Mm -hmm. 